I'm Josie Kuntz, and this is our PTV crew. Welcome back, PHS. Today is Friday, May 4th, 2018. I'm Xandra Kurtz. And I'm Kelsey Vance. Topping our show today, SRT meetings. If you are a member of the art club, you have a meeting in room 159. And not sure we realize it, but this is the first Friday in May, which means it's school lunch hero day. Yeah, and we here at PTV want to give a big shout out to the dedicated ladies in the PHS cafeteria who make our school's lunch room a better place to be. Now, taking a look at what's on the lunch menu for today. We will be having French bread pizza, green beans, and your choice from anything you want at the infamous fruit and veggie bar. All right, guys, it's time for our PTV trivia recap from last week. Last week, we asked you, what is the real name of prom? The answer was promenade. Thank you to the dozens of classes who took part in submitting your answers via email. The winning room is Mr. McKenzie's SRT. Congratulations, guys. Our crew is on the way to your room now to drop off your winning prize. I'm Xandra Kurtz. And I'm Anthony Hernandez. And we're here to deliver the trivia prize. And a quick shout out to Mrs. Meinberg's class who got hand delivered some yummy donuts from our crew for winning our PTV trivia prize the week prior. Thanks, PTV's Anthony Hernandez, for hooking them up. Three students from PHS got to spend the weekend on Camp Ryla. RILA stands for Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. Each year, thousands of young people participate in the camp, which is located in the central Indiana area. The camp is sponsored by Rotary Club 6560. Students who were chosen to attend from Plymouth High were sophomores Kelsey Cryer and Matt Champion, and our very own PTV Anthony Hernandez, who is a junior. Transportation to and from the camp was provided by Rotary and Room and Board, along with food was free all weekend. Students got to network and learn about leadership development, team building, and problem solving to better prepare them to be better high school leaders. Con congratulations to those who got picked to attend. The segment Finish the Lyric is back. PTV multimedia journalists Alyssa Hartman and Raven Gritton have another edition after they put PHS students to the test. Let's check it out. I got some magic in me. Every time I touch that track, it turns into gold. Without your smart mouth, drawing me in and you kicking me out. You got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you down What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride But I know where to start They tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a dream Life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes Well that's fine by me would have followed you Say something, I'm giving up on you Good job guys, finding new people who will play along. Last Friday, the Lee Club put on Operation Prom 2018. This is the first smart crash we've had since 2015. The crash demonstrated to everyone at PHS the dangers of drinking and driving after prom. At the scene was a rescue helicopter that took an injured student away. City and county police, EMS, firefighters, and the Marshall County coroner who pronounced the student deceased, and it took them away in a hearse. We want to give a big thank you to everyone who put in work for Operation Prom. You guys rock! And shout out to Kiara Clements for capturing all of this video for us during the event. 
Applications for the 2018 Miss Blueberry pageant are still being accepted. The pageant will be held on June 16th at Argus High School, but the deadline for the applications to be turned in to the Marshall County Blueberry Office is next Friday. Stop in the front office for an application or visit blueberryfestival.org. The Plymouth High School Fine Arts Department will present a production called High School Musical, taking place in the PHS Auditorium. The first production will be tonight at 7 p.m. Then two more productions will take place tomorrow at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are $7 and can be purchased at the door. The musical is open to the public and doors open a half hour before the play begins. The PHS Guidance Department is looking for mentors for the incoming freshman class. Sophomores and juniors, here's your opportunity to be a big brother or big sister to someone who really needs your help. Be a part of Plymouth's peer mentor program. Make someone's year special. Plymouth High School will be hosting a freshman welcome day on Thursday, July 26 for incoming freshmen. They are looking for upperclassmen who can help show them the ropes and help them make a successful transition to PHS. Check your email for a link sent to you by the guidance department to sign up now. Summer school classes are filling up fast. During the first summer session, classes that will be offered are traditional economics, online economics, algebra, geometry, U.S. history, and English. During the second summer session, agriculture, traditional government, online government, geometry, U.S. history, English night, and advanced speech will be offered. Make your way down to the front office if you plan to sign up before enrollment closes. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, also known as ASVAB, is a multiple choice test administered by the U.S. military to determine qualification for enlistment in the United States Armed Forces. It is being offered next Tuesday, May 8th at 7.55 a.m. in the PHS Auditorium. If you are a junior or senior and would like to take the test, please see Mrs. Amy Gerard in the guidance office or email her directly at agerard at plymouth.k12.in.us. I'm Deshaun Kaiser, quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, and you're watching PTV Sports. As we are currently in the peak of spring sports, we are back with our PTV one-on-one -on -one segment. This week's PTV Josie Koontz shines the light on another PHS athlete in this week's edition of PTV One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. This week, Tristan Sims joined us for our PTV One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. What's your favorite sport? Um, my favorite sport is football. What's your favorite subject? Uh, mathematics. What is your dream job? Uh, roofing or being a uh, professional mathematician. What's your favorite color? Uh, red. Do you sleep with or without socks? Without socks. What is one sport you would never play? Basketball. How long have you gone to Plymouth schools? My whole life. Who is your favorite music artist? Don't have one. In one word, how would your best friend describe you? Crazy. Snapchat or Instagram? Snapchat. What is the last thing you've eaten? Pizza. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Do you like to read or write more? Write. Is cereal soup? No. Who is the funniest teacher in PHS? I'd have to say Begwin. What college do you want to go to? I haven't decided yet. Join us next week where we will have another PHS athlete in the one-on-one -on -one hot seat. Nice work, Josie. Now let's take a look at what we have coming up on the PTV Sports Rundown. The girls' softball team has a game at Concord at 5. And the boys' varsity baseball team also is in action at Concord at 5 p.m. as well. Next up on PTV Sports, John Mills and Matt Dobuck are featuring another Plymouth High School coach in this week's edition of our PTV Sports Spring Coach Spotlight. This week, they introduce us to Mr. Hubbermill who teaches JAG and coaches freshman basketball and baseball. I'm Matthew Dobuck. And I'm John Mills. And this week, we're taking a trip to the JAG room to catch up with Coach Hovermail. What is JAG? 
JAG is an awesome opportunity for juniors and seniors uh, to come participate in a program that makes you better for life after high school. We're going to focus on a lot of life skills, a lot of how to manage your money, a lot of character building traits. Like what is success and how do you, you achieve success? Because we all want to get success, right? We all want to be at the top of our game. We want to be at the top of whatever careers we want to have. What does JAG stand for? Jobs for America's graduates. So pretty simple, JAG. What's your baseball season goal for this year? I think our goal for this year is to develop because we want to develop guys who are going to ultimately contribute to the varsity team, hopefully soon, hopefully maybe this year, maybe next year. So it's all about development, learning the game. So we got a lot of guys who haven't done a lot in terms of learning the game. They've played the game of baseball, but they haven't done uh, things like what is an approach, uh, thinking through the game pitch by pitch, you know, what, what's your uh, situation that play. So giving them a chance to develop both on the field and uh, upstairs. Did you play baseball in high school or college? I did. I played baseball in high school and I got to play in college at Grace College. Um, I played for four years, had the opportunity to play outfield and infield. Um, I pitched a little bit, being left-handed, but uh, focused more on the fielding. Did you play any other sports or did you like any other sports? I did. I played basketball, uh, varsity basketball, where I was from in Michigan. And I played a few years of football, but I decided I wanted to focus more on two sports. Um, and then I played more fall baseball um, because I wanted to be ready. Because, you know, as, as Michael Scott said, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So I wanted to focus on getting, ma making sure I'm ready to make 100% of my shots. Is it true that you get engaged? This is true. I did get engaged to the love of my life. Um, hopefully she sees this. I'll make sure she gets a copy of this. But yeah, there is some pictures. There's a proposal video. Thank you for your time, Mr. Harriman. That's it for this week's Spring Coach Spotlight. Tune in next week to see another interview with the Spring Coach. Switching gears to lighter news, my co-anchor and I are back at it again with this week with more entertainment news about K-pop music and bands. Welcome back to another episode of K-Nation. I'm Xandra Kurtz. And I'm Kelsey Vance. For this week's episode of K-Nation, we will be talking about the K-pop queen herself, Boa. Our K-pop artist that we are going to be talking about this week is the queen of K-pop herself, Boa. Boa made her debut in her SM Entertainment in 2000 with the album ID Peace Be, first album, which featured songs ID Peace Be and Sarah. She is the first Korean artist to debut in Japan after the fall of the barriers of entertainment between Japan and South Korea since World War II. Boa has put out nine Korean albums, nine Japanese albums, and one English album. Boa is multilingual. She speaks her native language Korean, Japanese, English, and has recorded songs in Mandarin Chinese. Boa has won a total of 59 awards. And she is the only foreign artist to have sold 1 million copies have in Japan. K Nation. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learn more about K-pop. And make sure to tune in next week for another episode of K-Nation. Anya. Since the High School Musical play is this weekend, we here at PTV have decided to make the trivia question about High School Musical. Some people may know while others may not know, but what year did High School Musical 1 come out? That's our PTV question this week. What year did High School Musical 1 come out? If you know the answer, be sure to tell your SRT teacher to email us at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, the question is, what year did High School Musical 1 come out? Good luck, everyone. The 2018 Plymouth High School Prom King and Queen were announced at this year's PHS Prom that was held at the South Bend Century Center on Saturday, April 28th. Trevor Pletcher was chosen as this year's Prom King and Leah Smith was selected as the Queen. The 2018 Plymouth High School Prom Prince and Princess is Junior Jackson Lee and Sydney Smith. Students who attended this year's prom got the opportunity to vote for this year's 2018 King and Queen and Prince and Princess. Well, that's all for this week's PTV News. Be sure to tune in next week for more school news. I'm Xandra Kurtz. And I'm Kelsey Vance. Enjoy your weekend, Peaches.